सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक विद अनदर वीडियो ऑफ सेल्स फॉर्स गिग चैनल एंड आई नो दिस वीडियो इज आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टाइम बट नाउ ऑन यू विल सी अ रेगुलर कॉन्टेंट ऑन दिस चैनल सो विदाउट एन डिले लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट so today's scenario is uh, let me tell you let's say whenever you are going to create a task in salesforce and if that task is related to an opportunity only then you need to copy uh, opportunity data and related account data so let's say you are going to create a task for a particular opportunity and that opportunity also are uh, related to a particular account right so what you need to do is on the task we have two custom fields which is opportunity uh, amount and account annual revenue so we need to populate these two fields whenever we are going to create a task on opportunity right so this is the main concept which we are going to see in this flow like how we are going to use formula uh, to basically identify that the task which we are going to create is for the opportunity so without any delay let's get started so let's create a new flow so obviously we are going to perform some on a dml operation so we are going to use record triggered flow for this scenario let's click on create so first of all you need to select the object so so for this scenario we have task because a uh, scenario is going to perform when a task is created right so let's select task now in the condition requirement as you know that on task we have two type of ids right let's say who id and what id so who id is basically for lead and contacts and what id is for the other related objects so i am going to check like whether my task contains any what id or not right if my task does not contain any what id then it does, does not mean right like what we are going to check if nothing is related to the task so i am going to create select a condition over there doesn't matter because we are going to provide only a single condition so it doesn't matter what we are going to use or or and because it's a single condition so here i am going to type what id is null boolean false now as we are going to update the values of the task which is going to trigger this flow right so whenever we need to Uh, change the data or alter the data of the same record who triggers the flow we need to select this fast field updates let's click on it and hit done right now our uh, trigger basic layout is ready now what is the next step is to identify whether the related what id we have is uh, opportunity or not so for that what i am going to do is create a new resource and i am going to create a formula for this and let's say type op task in the api name so that uh, basically it's a opportunity task so data type would be boolean and here i am going to develop a formula let's say i am going to use if condition and in under if i am going to check the left three digits of the uh, vote id i will let you know why i am doing this let me just uh, create the formula so let's say simply type left then simply two brackets after that uh, we need to fetch the what id so let's say go to record global variable basically this record global variable store the uh, task data which triggers the flow so from task we are going to get the what id and after this i am going to put a comma and type 3 so we are going to check the what id three digits starting three digits right and we are going to compare with equals to equals to then we need to simply type uh, two single uh, commas and 006 now why 006 let me just complete this i will let you know so just put a comma and type true and if it is not satisfy the condition then it is false so simply you need some understanding how to build formulas for this so let me just hit on done right now let's move to the uh, opportunity records just to let you know why i used 006 so let's say go to opportunities and if i go to this record you will see 
the opportunity id starts from o6 right and if i move back move to another account you will see this is also going to start from 006 right so that's how you can identify that the related record with the task is an opportunity and only then we need to create our scenario so let's move to flow builder now i am going to use a decision element whether uh, the checkbox or whether the formula we just created which is opportunity task is true or not if it is true then only we are going to change the values or update the values of our task right so let's click on this plus button and use decision element over there let's say check for op task the api name will be automatic automatically populated and in the label type true or let's say uh, provide a better way opportunity task and in the resource i am going to use my formula and compare it with true default outcome uh, remain as it is and i am going to click on done now you will see our flow is bifurcated into two parts now what i am going to do we need the opportunity record right uh, to fetch the data which we are going to populate over the task fields so let me just click on this plus button and i need to use a get record element basically whenever you need to fetch the data from the org you need get record element so i am going to type opportunity so simply opp is the uh, label and api name as well and i am in the object i am going to select opportunity now it will ask which opportunity you want to fetch so as we have the record word id uh, we, we will simply uh, define in the condition which is id equals let's say type record global variable and then what id right so this will uh, identify a record and it will obviously as we are providing id uh, id is unique so there is only one record will be fetch we are for now we are just selecting the all fields and let's hit done let me click on plus now what i am going to do is uh, fetch or populate all the values uh, to the task record fields so let me just use assignment element to alter the values of the uh, record or anything you need to use assignment element right so in the label let's say populate task fields and in the variable now if you go back to the record global variable and here you will see opportunity amount custom field right i will let you know how you can create fields over task there is a different way to create custom fields over task you will not find any uh, field and relationship option if you go back to the uh, task object in the object manager and one more field is record dot uh, not amount its account Ac account revenue and now i am going to map the so now i am going to map the values so as we use the get record element so i am going to take the value of opportunity amount from there so let's say select opp then amount so amount is a field on opportunity and similarly i am going to use opp then account and then i need to further drill down to get the annual revenue so similarly let's say first op op then opportunity to account then account to account field which is annual revenue that's how we map this right so let me just click on done so our flow is automatically so our flow is almost ready let me just click on save as so why you are seeing save as because when i uh, recorded this video earlier there is a lag in the video so right now that's why you are seeing the save as option because i am re-recording this video just to explain you things right so let me just activate it so if i move back to any of the opportunity let's say i am going to select grand hotels kitchen generator let me click on it and here you can see two tasks are already there i am going to create a new task as well 
let's say test 3 and I'm going to hit save. Let me just click on this test 3 and to this record you will see values are not populated. So we need to check why these values are not populated but uh, I just tell you that I am re-recording this video right because I don't know what is happening. I am uh, recording this video thrice because there is a lag uh, between the screen and the uh, voice. So that's why it creates problem. So just let me go to the flow. I know where the uh, where we are wrong and I also mentioned in the starting of the video like here is the thing which is not get selected. So if I go back to the start element and click on edit you will see action and related record is selected and we need to select fast field update here because we use assignment element and we are update the same record which triggers the flow or who triggers the flow right so let me just select fast field update and click on done and that's how things work in the actual scenarios right like these things happen so that's why i am recording this uh, error while uh, recording this uh, scenario so that you can also came to know like yeah error happen when you develop something and you need to resolve them right so let's say again i'm going to click on save as and save this flow and let me click on activate now let's move back to the record and here I am going to create one more uh, task. Let's say Gene point SLA for this time. And if I click on new task, let's say test and hit save. Let me click on test. This time you will see both the field values are populated and this is a cool scenario basically you will learn uh, the formula is the main thing or main concept of this flow which you need to build and let me tell you formulas are the formulas play a very crucial role in your Salesforce flow right so make sure you practice more about the uh, Salesforce formula fields or how to develop formulas and obviously you need to uh, learn about flow formulas because there are some limitations i will create a video on it uh, and here is a one more thing which i want to tell you is to how to create custom fields on task object so let's say if i move back to setup and let me show you what i am talking about earlier that uh, if you are working on task then uh, you are not able to create uh, fields directly on task let me just go back to object manager and type task over there select task and let me click on field and relationships here you will see there is no option to create new fields right so for to create fields on a task object what you need to do is go back to the object manager again and type activity and you need to select activity object over there in the field and relationship you will see a new option over there right if you want to create further new fields you can uh, create and here you will see account revenue and opportunity amount the same two fields which you uh, see on the demo while I creating Salesforce flow so here is the thing which where I create two fields for task object and same you need to do if you want to create fields on uh, task object right so I hope uh, this session adds some value into your uh, Salesforce flow learning journey and if it is so then please hit the like button and subscribe this channel for more such videos you can also find a lot of scenario video in the uh, into the playlist section of this channel I will also uh, add some uh, links in the description box you can check it out and thank you so much